Benders fucking you up? May we be of service, good raid. Who's a... Uh, who's the naked guy in multiplayer? Oh, you're here fighting a 9k army? Okay. What is your army composed of? You might have to do some uh, tactical retreats to win that. Um, does anybody remember in the first playthrough that we did that we did for Prophecy of Pandora? How what was the largest army that we faced? Was it 12k or 7k, something like that? 200 Noldor plus knights and immortals. I think you're okay, raid. Hey, it is it is gonna take a long ass time. Or you could auto cal, but that's practically suicide for your army. Oh, Jinjiao, you got yourself a Master Rogue Battle Hammer? Where do you guys get the Battle Hammers? I want a Battle Hammer. I want it inside me. It is going to take a long time. Miss Mono Tribe, okay. I know, I know, right? That's why I said it's suicide for your army. No, the Shropawa, I have not become a mercenary yet. I'm waiting for a invite of vassalage from... Uh, the Deshar or the Fears Vein. Oh, thank you, Sigmund. I will. That is an amazing, amazing suggestion. You were crushing ravers or knights? Okay. I guess I'm gonna go in the northern parts and verify their territories. How, many, how much renown do I have? Um, well, let's check. 758. 758 renown, and we're at right to rule 51. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, Ray, that is fucked up. That is indeed fucked up. <laughs> yes, yes, they do, Firanus. They're not that good. Oh, I already operate a Dialworks here? Do we have everywhere? Do I have both in Valenray and Windhold now? What? Budget. Windhold? And we just bought one in Valenray, so we have enterprises all over the world. I did buy one in Ishkoman, right? Yes, I did. Okay, we have finished the Enterprise run. We still need to find Diev. We haven't seen Diev in this playthrough. What the fuck? So, let's go into the Ravenstone territories and look for Diev and that hammer. Happens, Raid. It happens. Now let's go to the northwest. All right, people are hunting down. People are hunting down Vanskiri around here. All right, so the Ravens are at war with the Sarvion School. Well, Mon's going pretty okay. Pretty okay. We're progressing nicely. Doing some things differently from my first playthrough too. So what do we got? Ebony Bastard Sword. That looks sexy. Have you guys seen this? I, I didn't know that you can actually have an Ebony Bastard Sword. Oh damn, Chris. That's a lot. Reminiscent Great Sword. I seem like a good weapon, though. You know what? I'm gonna... Mm, it's chipped, too. Wop, wop. Let's wait. Let's wait on it. You gave up your campaign on Prosopender since you still had that Knighthood Order bug, whereas you can train them with companions again. Very unfortunate. Sorry. The Dragon Donk, welcome to the inn. 
Glad you enjoyed it, dragon. With what raid? Uh, piercing damage has has better armor penetration than cutting, and it simply scales better with speed, right? Grab the one with piercing. Definitely grab the one with piercing. Right. Jinjiao, you're a bit in a weird situation. You conquered Laria, but your knighthood order is in Shieldstorm Keep. Should you keep Laria and Shieldstorm Keep for yourself? Or you'll still have your knighthood order there if you give it to one of your vassals. Uh, Blunt has better armor penetration than piercing. But, um, and of course, Blunt can't kill people, and they just knock them out. But Piercing does scale better with speed than Blunt, thus it does more damage. So, Jin Zhao, I am not sure if you need to keep the Thief to have the Knighthood Order intact. Just don't remember. Um, any guys have any thoughts on that? Ideas? Fuck. It'll stay there. Oh, okay. But will he still be the ruler? Oh, shit. Now it's gonna be another person's knighthood order. It's gonna be at their service. Right, Leslie leveled up. Congratulations, Leslie Maletti. First meeting cavalry has arrived. Keep it, my boy. So, Leslie, hello. Intellect 8, Surgery 6, beautiful. And first aid. That's going to be more useful. Let's go eastwards. To the Ravenstern territories. In search. Oh, hello, Vanskiri Sea Raider Army. Hope you have a good time. They're following me? You sure you want to follow me, dudes? Questing Honor Knights. Let's go help them. I think you should keep Laria, though, and make the Knight of Or somewhere else when you get another town or castle. Change out, just keep it from, just keep both of them for yourself, and that's it. Well, you can get this, the Iron Centurions and stuff. Oh, the oh the special ones. Oh no, no, you can't. Just keep both. You should be fine. All right. Archers over here, infantry in the front, cavalry on that side, get ready to, oh fuck, cavalry get ready to charge right now. Infantry stand closer, beautiful. Let's say, hi. Oh, that bear claw berserker needs to fucking go. Oh my god. Oh, good job. No, 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 get out of the way, get out of the way. Whew, that almost killed me boop I booped him he has been booped oh my god you scared me all right cavalry charge no idea the sectas there's no release date on the new uh, new patch but in the meantime play this one it's good Welcome to the end, my man. <laughs> Hello, Knight of the Raven Spear. You look kind of dumb. Various loots, not bad. Serain has equipped his barbarian shield. Good for him. 
and let's walk away. It would be nice, Raid. It would be nice, but no. All right, Amaterasu, have a good day, dude. That is not the case. Okay. Hello? How many of you are there? Oh my god. Pull back, soldiers. Yeah, sacrifice. Bye. I fuck that misman army. I know, I know, Lethal Durin. That was fucked up. One second I took my eyes from the screen. One fucking second and we lost every well not everything. We lost a third of my troops. Damn. Nah, Chris, it's okay. Play this game since the first one. You love it. You have to get better at raising over 130 men and getting a castle and a rank from the Lord's any tips. Well, we shall see. I know, Raid. I know, I know. I've panicked. Seems to me that uh, just playing completely solo is the best, fastest way to gain renown and make a lot of money, but it's more fun to play with an army composition. Thoughts on that? I prefer to play with an army composition to Dragon Donk. Not gonna reload for Ennis. No safes coming. Nope, it doesn't matter, Chris. And plus, we wanted to switch to the Shar units anyway, so... It's okay. It's okay that we left those men. Did I leave my Noldor, though? No, I still have a Noldor Ranger. Any other Noldor? Nope, this is the last one that I have. Shitty. And I think I mostly lost archers. Mm, I still have some rangers. Legionnaires. Genisars are here. Okay, cool. Alright, we're still good. We're still good. Uh, yes, dragon. It is still... You get bonus renown and money if you take on bigger parties than you, of course. Yes. But you can take on, you know, huge armies, like more than 30 or stuff like that. Yes, yes, that is true. But anyway, you stack Renown very, very quickly in this game. Alright. Let's sell those various loots. Grab ourselves the cheese. For now. Okay, the dragon, then you're gonna make a lot of renown and money. Just make sure that you build enterprises so you can maintain that army. Uh, okay, Chris, good for you. Well, yes, yes, they can, I reckon, later. But if they're not strong enough, they're gonna be meh. Uh, Tevens, baggage trains. Hello, Domical. You got diabetes? I am sorry. I uh, hope you are just joking. Also, welcome to the inn. I'm gonna read in a sec. Uh, let's check the tavern. What happens though is that you find all your companions are making a cool army but then you find yourself wanting to dismiss all of it just to be able to make good cash renown again well you gotta do what you gotta do man it's it's you need to enjoy the game first of all so you need to do whatever you want what makes you feel badass Uh, Tevens, you can grab them from the innkeeper by having two various loots. So the fox, young Bacchus noble, you, what news, no news, okay. 
Oh my, okay, uh, Jinjao, top five mods. Um, Prophecy of Pendor Floris, Gecko Kujo, Nova Ethos, and... A World of Ice and Fire, I guess. You gotta upgrade that village, my man. You gotta take care of that village. Increase your relations. Build it up. Make beautiful, beautiful babies with it. Mm, sorry for us. No can do. Might get in trouble with Twitch if I juggle alcohol around the around the stream. Or around YouTube. Vescari army attacks Underfall? Nah, it's okay. I really don't care about that right now. Have other stuff to do. For example, buy cheese. And go find myself a goddamn hammer. Hmm. Lame. And maybe participate in this tournament. I think alcohol and smoking and some other stuff too for Ennis. Just because it was common in the area. Just because it was common. No big reason. I usually go for grain or cheese or bread, depending on the zone I'm playing in. Five months ago, the strip power. So, let's run the tournament, place bets, go ahead and fight in the next round. And it's raining, cool. Both armies have engaged each other. Oh, really? Finally, got one. That's the idea. Get one so you can reach the next stage. Make sure that you get at least one and then have fun. Fight for your, to your heart's content. Yep, what Aragnator said. Well then, my man, you gotta know. You gotta plan. Usually try to invest early on into relations with villages that you know that you're going to be uh, creating a kingdom at. So for example, if you create a kingdom starting from Laria, make sure that you do some quests with the village beforehand so they can give you a lot more troops. It's never too late, Dragon. Late game, it's actually a good idea, especially when you're at peacetime. If you're in peacetime with other factions, go and upgrade your villages. They're going to provide you with some good cash. Fucking... My kill. Don't get involved, fucker. Got him. Oh no. Whew. Alright, two teams, seven fighters each. How do you stop villages from constantly being wiped out by an enemy faction 400 plus armies? Well, for Anas, you just um, make sure that you have someone protecting those villages. You know, you have a hired mercenary company, or there's a capable lord in the area, or stuff like that. Or you have the villages near the Noldor Forest, or in the Dashar Deserts, while you're having the Singalians friendly on your side. You will find a way. 
you can find ways. Native? Again, make sure that you defend your territories and give the other territories to lords that are capable of defending them their own. Don't give a lord a castle which is in one corner of the map and another castle in the other corner because he's not going to be realistically able to be defending both. Give lords fiefs in just a general area of influence so they'll be able to be in the area and defend them, Ferranis. You will find solutions, my man. Plus, that's why we're here to help you out. Okay, so yes, you join a faction. What do you want to say? <laughs> that is that is too, Tivens. That's why we've invested so much time into building um, enterprises. Oh, mother. Of course you're going to reach. There we go. Your adventure has been dealt with. Gonna our Swadian knights are in Mamluks and wipe them out yourself while being our number four to one. In native, yes. Good job, champion fighter. Are we done here? Good. Two teams, one fighter each. Uh oh. Okay. Let's play ball. Man, your ch your horse is tough. Not tough enough, boy. Got him. Swadian Knights. As I said before, throw Swadian Knights at the problem. And if the problem doesn't go away, you haven't thrown enough Swadian Knights at it. I'm gonna read it in a second. Calm it down, pea shooter. Oh my god, he's gonna beat me with a. He is gonna beat me. Can't believe it. He's too fast for me. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, you fucked up now, boy. Yeah. Not great in a village battle, though. I prefer Nord Huskarls and Rodok crossbowmen armies. Indeed, Ferranis, that is true. Becoming a mercenary is more powerful than you, th than you think. I, I, just for power, I know, I know that becoming a mercenary lord is profitable for a faction. But I'm at that point in the game where I don't want to be a mercenary lord anymore. I want to join a faction and start making friends. Do you understand? Uh, well, Tevin's Swadia Knights in melee combat will get beaten by Nord Huskars, for example. So you can't rely solely on their skills. Uh, the reason they're very good is because of their horses, Tevin's. Because they're very, very heavy troops that do not have as much athletics, for example, as the Nord Huskars. And more, yes, exactly. Like Adrianer said, the arming swords are good in melee, but they, when they spawn with morning stars and they're not that on their horse, there will be they will be at a disadvantage because morning stars are slow, well at least slower and harder to wield than other weapons. All right, so let's go help those farmers right there. Um, everyone just charge. Pretty much. Damn, that was a cool death animation. Death animation. Attack. Come on. Got him. For example, that guy should have just bursted behind. Boom. Boom. I think the smartest way to go about it is to join another faction and then the one you plan to build your own kingdom in because you gain more relations and with the lords that you're defeating and releasing in combat. True. That's what I said to my guide too. They're good enough to kill anything on foot that's not Rodox Sergeants or Nord Huskals. True. Ah, Juoki, it's time to rise up against the oppressor. Major archers are better for burst damage and shorter 
engagements, thus on the field, and Rodak crossbowmen are better in long engagements, like very, very huge battles and sieges. That's all. No problemo. Let's see what we got here. A heavy horsey. We shall get this heavy horsey. We shall abandon the rust. Oh, now that and they have many lords. Well, Jokey, then suck it up, suck it up, my man, and hope you're gonna get another. Oh, oh, oh. save the village of Elkrin. Oh my goodness gracious, I forgot to save this village, right? Oh no, 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 I didn't. Phew. Okay. You do not bother becoming a vassal. You made friends as a merc lord, and whenever the country you cripple as a merc, you can usurp to create your own. Uh, defeating and releasing their lords as a merc makes them love you for when you usurp their broken country. Uh, yeah, but that also happens when you are a vassal, Tibbins. Right, 39 bandits. Archers over there. Infantry over here. Cavalry on that side. Cavalry get ready to charge for the enemy shall be upon us soon. Yep, cavalry charge. These are the biggest threats when trying to save villages. That's why you can't actually do this mission in the early game. God damn. Fucker. Get back here. You tricked me. Man, he, he kept me good. Anson has leveled up. Congratulations. Got him. I hit his kidney or something. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know, Signal. That's what happens to me, too. Interestingly enough, my horses are... My horse is just knocking them out because of the high charge damage. Yep, 31, 23 damage. No fucks given. And that guy got knocked out by my horse. Go, Anson, go! Murder! Show them what's good, and what's bad, and what's ugly. Raval, do you get uh, dominoes in Romania? And is it ridiculously expensive there, too? Uh, no. We sadly don't have Domino's here. But we do have Pizza Hut. I would love some pizza right now. I'm kind of hungry. We refuse for us to gain honor. Right, so Anson, congratulations on thy level up, good sir. Let us bring your charisma. <coughs> up. Trainer seems to be in order from here on out. I know, Juoki. It's frustrating. Why not leave Sarleon and join another faction? Why not say goodbye to Sarleon and fuck him? Now, two points, Brook. Still haven't found any hammers. God damn it. The hammer will be an upgrade, a very substantial upgrade in combat. Not going to help those farmers. They're going to have to deal with it on their own. Are you doing different companion strategies this game? Uh, different from the guide? Uh, J the dragon, have you checked the topic in the guide? Uh, there were certain changes in Prophecy of Pandora, and I had to do different companion strategies. I have created a new video that explains the new stable party. Um, you'll have to check that out. If you go to the, the Pandora guide at the, um, and check in the description the topic, you'll see that there's a new link over there to the video. I think so, Jokey. No problem, the dragon. Yes, you can declare um you can declare your fealty or allegiance to another faction and you can join with your city. What's up, Chris? No. 
Donovan was not always Marshall. The companions did get updated. Mate, please. Don't fuck with me. Understand, Chris. If the companions didn't get updated, why did my, uh, my previous build in my previous playthrough work? Understand? I'm not exactly sure how to do it. I think Eric Nader knows how to... I think you have to declare independence, and then you talk with one of your ministers and tell him that you wish to join... No, you wish to send an emissary and you wish to join his cause. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah, like Eric Nader said. Exactly. Exactly, Chris. They did change them in 3.9.2 because before 3.9.2, in 3.9.1, my first build was working. Hmm, still no hammer. God damn it. Okay. Take Laria with you, my man. Declare your independence next time the king refuses to give you a fief. I think. Okay. Let us leave this place. We shall go southwards to Laria. I do want to visit the Empire territories again. We're just looking for Donovan now while we're waiting to receive um, a letter of vassalage. Can't do anything until then. We received one from the Empire, one from the Sardion. We should receive one from the Dashar of Fearsway next. Right, money is piling up. Perfect. Alamar and Andre. Ah, sadly, I can't get involved into that battle because they're going to kick my ass. We're also going to start uh, trying to befriend a Noldor from here on out. I don't care. I don't care, Alistair. Have a good day. Mm. The emissaries need to have high persuasion. Joki. Donovan, Richard. I would like to sell you all of my prisoners. Quick Fen, Eric's. Anything from your travels? No. Knights of the Dragon. No, thank you. Scream Marauders that we can hire. Dex Morin. Anything interesting? No. Check the marketplace. Arms vendor. What do we got here? We got Ebony Knight Sword, Ebony Arming Sword. Cool. I know. Cracked Pole Hammer. Nope. Not the thing that I need. Shitty. <sighs> let's believe. And let's go to Ethos. Keep an eye out for uh, Noldor in need of assistance. <laughs> 